Desktop Metal is making 3D metal printers in two sizes. This is the DM Studio system. It's the first machine that lets you print metal parts in an office. Literally, you roll this in, fits through any door, plug it in. And there's a larger one for mass production. It starts around half a million dollars and it goes up to several million depending on the configuration. CEO Rick Fullop explains it's the same inkjet technology that other 3D printing machines use, but faster and cheaper than welding or melting metal with lasers. In the laser system, this part would be $80. This part is $4 with our process. The goal is to make 3D printing scalable on the production line for various industries. This technology can be applied for everything from stainless steel to titanium. It's very suitable to automotive, it's suitable to heavy duty, it's suitable to making valves, it's suitable to airplane parts, high-end consumer electronics, to many, many applications for this type of technology. 3D printing has long been a novel technology in search of a huge market. And according to Wohler's associates, production applications for 3D printing could eventually grab at least 5% of the worldwide manufacturing economy and translate into $640 billion in annual sales. Other companies are taking notice. HP and 3D Systems are making the shift. It's been around for 20, 25 years, and the reality is that today, it was all prototyping, but well, the bulk of it was prototyping. And for the first time, the next 20 years is going to be about end-use part production. Desktop metal counts BMW and Caterpillar as customers. The company has raised $277 million with backing from GE Ventures, Lowe's, BMW, Alphabet's venture arm, GV, and most recently, Ford. Clearly automotive is a, is a great market for our technology and probably will be the largest market for this type of technology. Desktop Metal employs 150 people, mostly engineers. Along with R&D, this latest funding round will go toward increasing that staff and reach, with plans to extend to more markets, including Europe and Asia. Anne Mostu, Bloomberg, Boston.